Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do part four of your reading series. All right, so we're going to start off as usual here with a Lenormand card for part of the situation. New deck. Let's see what is going on and how um, this plays a role in your story. All right, so let's see. All right, so here we have the situation, what you're manifesting, details that you might not be able to see, and then finally, guidance. All right, so what have we seen so far this week for you? It feels like um, you're trying to determine the direction of your emotional satisfaction. What direction are you going in? There might be a role or there might be something that is making you ask, you know, do I choose my reputation or do I choose love? Love might seem like the harder path in your particular situation. And finally, we had a reading about resisting what feels good or what feels too good, okay? Um, you might think that seems like an unnatural choice, but it's amazing how many people do do that to themselves. So let's take a look at what we have for you here. For Lenormand, we've got the owls, the birds, okay? Um, this, is, this card is about spiritual communication. You might be receiving some type of spiritual communication Maybe to, to make the harder choice to, I don't feel like love is an easy choice for you. Situation. There we have it. Eight of Swords. So you feel, you might feel a little bit trapped or a little bit in your head about a spiritual situation or spiritual communication that is coming in towards you, it makes you feel like you, you can't move. If you feel this way towards, towards love, that's a shame, right? If you feel this way that you can't move because you feel like you're going to affect your reputation, that's a shame too, all right? And this also speaks to resisting allowing yourself to feel what feels good. That's why spirit might be intervening here for you. What are you manifesting? Whoops, we're not doing reversals today. We have seven of swords. So it's like, this can be a card of running away, running away from your thoughts, running away from something that feels difficult, running away from from love, running away from the spiritual guidance. It's like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to face this. You know, I know it keeps nudging at me and it's uncomfortable for me, you know, because it's it feels like something that, you know, maybe I just, I'm not ready for it. So I'm running away. But I feel like this also says by running away from it, by running away from something that might be in your heart, you know, you you might satisfy some type of comfort in the present moment, but it robs you of a future that you might have chosen to have before you came here. The details that you can't see, King of Swords, so this can be a card of Gemini. You might be dealing with a Gemini. Um, King of Swords is all about the, the blunt truth. You know, the no, no frills, no, no messing around truth. So the most important detail here in this reading is whatever, it's not your truth, it's not somebody else's truth. It's the truth of spirit. The truth as spirit sees it is what you, I feel like, are running away from. You're running away from the truth. You're either doing it by 
not moving or not choosing to look at something from a different perspective, okay, or you're flat out just running away, avoiding it, deceiving yourself. What is the guidance here? The chariot. So this is saying, follow your heart. This is card of cancer. This is saying, embrace the emotion you have around the situation and run with it because that's where victory lies. Okay, so let's see what the spiritual communication is that you are receiving. And let's see the King of Swords, which is the truth of the matter. Spiritual communication about what you are defensive about. Whatever it is that you're defensive about, I feel like you're getting spiritual hits, spiritual downloads, spiritual communication about that very thing. Something is nudging at you. And it might really bother you. It might bother you that you might have to do something challenging or difficult, something that you consider to be challenging and difficult when other people may not see it that way. The truth, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is your energy, okay? So this is validating, you know, that this is about the truth around you, okay? The Knight of Wands energy is all about, normally in the Knight of Wands energy, you see a horse that's ready to kind of take off. You don't know what direction you're going in, but you, you kind of have to trust the horse. You kind of have to trust where that horse is taking you. You know, in this particular card, it's like the horse took off. Okay, and he's trying to find his horse. The horse, I feel like, in the Knight of Wands represents the universe. So it's like trying to find what the universe is telling you, what, what it is about the truth of the situation. All right, so Knight of Wands, which is, again, your energy, is the only card that has come out for you multiple times. I thought it was the King of Wands too, but I was wrong. All right, so let's see as far as the situation and what you're manifesting. Nine of Pentacles. All right, so you might be keeping yourself all wrapped up in your head. You might be spending a lot of time alone. That might be where your comfort zone is right now. Even if you're with somebody, you might be spending a lot of time alone. Um, possibly because you don't want to move towards something or follow your heart. Possibly just because it's more comfortable for you right now. Seven of Swords. Two of Swords, yeah. Running away with a blocked heart to boot. It's like, it's like you're saying, you know what? I just can't do this right now. I can't do this. I'm getting the nudges. I'm getting the spiritual hits. I'm getting the spiritual communication. And even though the details are showing up for you, the truth is like right in your face. It's like you're choosing not to look at it right now. You're choosing to not make a choice, which is a choice in and of itself. Chariot, following your heart. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the choice to follow your heart brings you into an abundance that you can barely imagine right now. Doing the hard thing, whatever that is for you, I feel like brings you into an abundant life. Maybe doing what you're most afraid of brings you into an abundant light. Talking to the person that you're most afraid to talk to brings you into an abundant light in your life. But right now, based on what I'm seeing here, it feels like you are just kind of frozen. 
kind of frozen. So let's take a look at the, the Lenormand cards that you received this week. All right. So we have the spiritual communication. We have the book of secrets. We have the significant man or masculine of the past. And then we have the crossroads. You know, it feels like this is kind of where you're at. You're at a crossroads. You know, do I go through a door that feels easy? Do I go through a door that feels difficult? It's like you don't know. The number 22, that's a big number this week. So you're at a crossroads. It might be about a significant man of the past, or you might be the significant man of the past, all right, or masculine of the past. You might be thinking about a significant masculine of the past. This masculine of the past could very easily be a secret, a secret you keep, a secret that is kept about somebody else. You know, it's just something that we've, buried for now. But spirit is communicating with you about this situation. Spirit knows that you might have a really difficult choice to make. It might be about love or your reputation. It might be about doing something difficult versus something that feels easy and comfortable. I feel like you right now are more in the easy, comfortable energy it's like there's just so much going on in the world. Do I really want to complicate my life? And you might not be ready to do that, okay? Even though it feels like if you did take the harder path, it feels like there would be abundance and light waiting for you. Or if you followed your heart, there would be abundance and light waiting for you. But based on what I'm seeing, it doesn't feel like you are ready to do that. Once again, we have Knight of Wands showing up, which is your energy. And Knight of Wands, there we have the horse that's getting ready to take off, right? Don't know in what direction. You know, this is about really deciding where is your heart committed. When you decide where your heart is committed, it feels like you will be able to go through the appropriate door for you. Okay? So we're going to wrap this up with some... Oracle cards, a final message from Spirit. Sagittarius, what do we have? Ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. All right, so you might have a lot going on right now. There might be some significant um, days ahead for you, some important days, a birthday, a, uh, an anniversary, or maybe a wedding. Who knows? And then what do we have here? Delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. So you might be experiencing this, right? You know, it, it feels like there is an intention here. It feels like there's an intention here that we've been looking at through the week that you're not really allowing yourself to surrender to. So after a while, you start thinking it's a delusion. So basically this is saying intention without action, which is in a lot of ways, the Knight of Wands energy, not really knowing where your heart is committed, um, can be a fast path to delusion. You know, um, it doesn't mean that the situation is a delusion, but you can start having certain thoughts about a situation that become diluted because we're not acting on our intentions. Then what do we have here? 
galactic grandmother. Hmm. The number five about change. You know, this could be that you're getting spiritual communication from a galactic grandmother, meaning a grandmother that's passed on. Your grandmother might be, um, you know, a guide for you, might be a guardian angel for you. You might be thinking a lot about a particular grandmother. Um, you might have just seen a picture of a grandmother and started thinking about her. <clears throat> and what was really happening is you were getting messages from her. All right. So, yeah, interesting. Um, I'm curious. I want one more there. Look at Ask wonderfully, receive graciously. You know, you might be praying to a grandmother. You might be praying um, for guidance in a particular situation around a crossroads. And I feel like if you're asking, you are receiving, whether you're realizing that you're receiving the message that you need or not. You, you have to listen. You have to get quiet. All right, so Sag, that is what I have ultimately for you for this week. I hope you enjoyed the series. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.